now down to three Raptor engines. We can see those chopsticks now. Wow, isn't that impressive? Very nice. SpaceX has now caught a rocket booster mid-flight. Bravo. Watching this, I decided I should make my own SpaceX rockets and see how hard it is to do the things that they do. Little did I know, it was actually quite difficult. I started off by building a somewhat replica of the Falcon 9 rocket that SpaceX is most notable for using for delivering stuff into space. However, since Kerbal Space Program is mostly designed around other rockets such as the Apollo rockets, the Soyuz, and other older spacecraft that predate the Falcon 9, it was somewhat difficult to get a proper match. I recreated the landing legs using pistons and levers in the robotic section of the Kerbal Space Program rocket builder. However, the SpaceX Falcon 9 first stage uses piston-powered landing legs that are probably a lot sturdier than what I'm using here. My next challenge was trying to get the 9 of Falcon 9, that being the boosters, at the bottom in relative scale. Next, I put together a similar apparatus for the grid fins, because of course the Kerbal Space Program does not come with grid fins, as they are relatively new to the rocket scene. My first few attempts at launching also did not go so well given the fuel to engine ratio was a little too heavy. What I ended up doing was pretty much remaking the whole rocket with larger fuel tanks, but therefore larger rocket engines and attach it in a way that would be nine engines. And of course, since it's a larger rocket, I had to attach slightly larger landing legs. Now, because of the engine to fuel ratio, there was no issue getting up in the air this time. However, deploying the legs, because they were off center by a slight angle, they forced the entire rocket to start spinning because of the weight change. I got very close to landing the rocket multiple times. However, due to the nature of Kerbal Space Program being Kerbal Space Program, it was difficult to do a landing burn landing without the rocket suddenly changing its direction and flipping itself. After crashing many times with the makeshift Falcon 9 rocket, I decided to shift gears a little bit and build the Starship with the Super Heavy. I of course added the largest flap gears that the robot tab had on Kerbal Space Program and added the wing part of the flaps onto those and I think that made it look the most like the Starship at the moment. Now I thought I was clever adding the inflatable heat shield underneath the fairings to kind of cheat my way into the atmosphere. However, later on I found doing that just prevented me from deploying the heat shield while the nose cone was still attached. And the heat shield did not do very much in terms of shielding the craft from the heat. Thanks to the Starship being huge, 
it was no problem for me to add the six engines that it comes with on the real life Starship. I had to do a bit of finagling to get the coupling set up between the Starship and the Super Heavy, which resulted in many explosive reactions during flight. And although I couldn't add the 37 engines to the bottom of the Super Heavy, I added enough that looked proportional to the rocket within Kerbal Space Program. And then instead of grid fins for the Super Heavy, I added square wings that looked like grid fins in a way, just for the look. And since this wasn't quite exactly the Starship, I decided to name it the Stratoship and Super Hefty. On the first try, it was quite easy for the vehicle to make it to space. However, the catastrophic misuse of the heat shield meant I had to redo it with similar but not as good success. I was able to adjust the flaps of the starship similar to how the real one would do it although it would autonomously control those flaps whereas I had to control them manually and didn't quite exactly know what I was doing what the heck eventually the flight resulted in the crew surfing on the heat shield and I doubt they would have lasted much longer if I didn't revert the mission that being said thank you everyone so much for watching consider liking and subscribing for more videos and i will see you next time bye everyone